outside for further medical investigation. Now, when you come into the terminal, this is the first screening point. This is where you put in your luggage, where it will have the initial screening. And we have a list of things you cannot travel with, so that when you come in, you look at this list, and if you have any of it in your luggage, you will have to get rid of it from here. So you have a list of uh, prohibited items that you can yeah. you know, fly with or travel with. So it's all written here. While here are liquid items like aerosols and gels. Passengers usually don't pay attention, even me. Yeah, because in most cases, one's attention is just on the journey. But it's here so that people can acquaint themselves with these things. And when our officers ask them, you can't travel with this, it's for them to know that yes, these items are prohibited and uh, there are no two ways about it. Though sometimes travelers will want to insist on some of the things that they are carrying, but when you see these prohibited ones, there is no way you can be allowed to travel with. These are unacceptable internationally. It's not just Nigeria. Not just Nigeria. It's a global yeah. position. Okay. Yes. passengers. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, a money flight. It's a money flight. We're expecting Ethiopia, Rwanda, Air. This uh, yes. Okay. That's right. So once you cross here, these are where the security agencies are. You have the NDLEA that are in charge of uh, drugs and then the customs. So that if anybody is traveling with any contraband, this is where they will intercept it. And then the person will have to fitted here. If you're carrying any substance that is unacceptable that uh, by the drugs law, this is where the NDLA will check that. You can see some people traveling with food items, so they will check and see where are they traveling to, whether what they said it is is actually what it uh, was, was there, yes. Okay. While right. the customs also will check and ensure that the person is not traveling with contraband. The quarantine are not mostly here because uh, the executive order reduced the number of agencies to be around but in case there is anything of interest to the quarantine services mm. they will be invited and then they will take over from there. Okay, so now at this airport yeah. you do not have quarantine agents like officially We, we have them, yeah, they are within the terminal building. Once their attention is required we they just invite them, them and they call, come over here. Nigerians really love to travel and that too with a lot of luggage. And so checklist your luggage. It doesn't matter whether you parked it yourself or someone helped you park it. Make sure you know what is being parked inside that luggage. Checklist it yourself so that you will not have to regret later on. So once you're cleared from the security point, you move on to the departure hall. Or oh, you can go through this way. Yeah, but in most cases we'll discourage going through here just in case there are people that needed to come out through this side. So mostly we use the other side for the departing passengers. While you have mostly people coming from our interlink, they walk through, you see where that gentleman is coming. So they climb up from there and then walk back. Here we have the Foreign Affairs Protocol desk here, okay. where they process uh, senior government functionaries from ambassadors, ministers, governors, and uh, maybe foreign dignitaries. Mm. This is where the, their officers will sit. They receive them, and then go in with them into the terminal building, and then go ahead to process them. This is a coffee shop for arriving passengers. For arriving passengers. Yes, when you're just arriving and you need uh, a little ginger, <laughs> so you just go to the cafe, take a sip, refresh yourself there, and uh, Wait for your vehicle to come. Lovely. Yeah. How many passengers can this terminal take? How many can it process? I don't want to delve into that myself because I have the international terminal manager that right. is waiting for your arrival. So she can talk to you about the pass number of passengers that the terminal can take. But meanwhile, before she does that, this place is where our own passenger support service operates. There are clients that are fan clients who pay for protocol services. On arrival, our own officers will receive them here and then go with them into the terminal building to process them. These customer service agents are available all around the terminal to help improve your passenger experience inside the terminal. So while I hand you over to her, to talk to you about the number of passengers the terminal can take, 
Let me introduce her to you. She's uh, Mrs. Rashida Atisia Kasule. Hello, Adachi, I'm waiting for you. Hello, You're ma welcome. Good morning. Good to see you again. Good to see you, ma'am. All right. She's our international terminal manager, and she's responsible for this wonderful edifice you're seeing. Apart from the international terminal, like I told you earlier, we have the domestic terminal that operates from somewhere here. And then we have the pilgrims terminal. We also have the cargo terminal. And for VIPs like you, we have the general aviation terminal where we process VIPs. Rashida said her terminal is the most beautiful terminal. <laughs> Say it again, madam. Say it again. I say it loud. And that is what we are going to be finding out. Okay. Kamala, let's go check it out. The terminal is a young, fairly young terminal. How old is this it's terminal? It's three years old. That is from the main entrance to the check-in encounter down to the passport control area, which is the next place I will take you to. You hit our duty-free shops, but whereby you can shop. Hours is long. That's the yes. normal check-in and process time for international flights. Okay. Yeah. So if you have 350 passengers, you need to check them in within that three hours. Even if you have. 1,000 passengers. Within three hours, all of them must have been checked in. Depending on the checking in time of that airline. Okay, it's not that it takes one person. No, it doesn't hours. take so one person the three hours. The whole passengers have... need to have boarded that aircraft in three, three hours. hours. Yes. Okay, just like all these passengers that they have here yes. right now. Yes. In the next three hours, once they are they out of here. Gates, yes. They are out of here. They are out of here. Airport is clear. The airport is clear. This is our queue system. User service, service, uh, service uh, checking check counters are here. We have the e gates too. That's why I told you we have improved seriously on technology. Okay. But so this that you can is come in. Yes. It's, it's not. You can see the technicians are on it trying to connect the system for use. So one of the airlines have keyed in into the system, which is Turkish Airlines. Passengers are not starting using it? Yes, in the next one week, we'll start using it. Okay. So These are the technicians, research technicians. Hello, good morning. When can passengers start, in, uh, when can they start enjoying this? She said one week. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I got grace. <laughs> I got grace. Okay. What's your deal? 
Eh? Okay, Mohammed said one week by one God's week. grace. By God's grace, we one said week. one week. And we have one airline that has queued in, in and it's a Turkish airline. Turkish airline. I've already queued in. Mm. Okay, fine. I can't really wait for passengers to start enjoying or making use of this because at least online. you come checking, no, honestly, no handler, you don't need to talk to anybody, just come here checking and go in. This is even coming very late because, as far as as far as I can remember, mm -hmm. most airports of the world, even they really in Africa, it. they have this. So we should, I believe that we have actually surpassed this, mm -hmm. but better late than never. Yeah, that's that's why I, I told you, I said there's a great <laughs> leap from where we were three years ago to where we yeah, are now. now. Yes. Okay. In terms of technology, All right. in terms of facilities too. Okay. This is the FIDS, the flight display okay. system. But it's not working now? Because they are working on this. On this. They're connecting it to this. Oh, so they had okay. to switch it off. Oh. But you, as you can see, the flight display system, FIDS, is okay. all over the terminal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you come to us here, these are the, all, all the FIDS. We have okay. 60. Every counter has okay. its own FIDS. Yeah. All right. So wow. once you are checking in, we key in your airline. You can okay. see this Kigali Air 1. That's ET over there. We have a playground here to distract the kids from the parents when the parents are checking in. The children can go there, play, while the parents concentrate on the checking in. So once you're done, you take your kids and leave. But is it safe for you to leave your kid alone at the airport? Very safe. We have about over 540 cameras here. 540 40 CCTV cameras. cameras yes. Yeah. So your kids, yes, your, your kids are safe here. I guarantee you that. That's nice. This is the baggage wrapping area, where you wrap your bag if you need to wrap your bag. When you wrap your bag, you move it down here for checking in, check it in here. So okay. let's move to the passport control area. Okay, so where, which way are we taking this way. here? Yeah, and you have a lot of charging Just area to make it for passengers. comfortable for passengers. Yeah. Here we are approaching the passport control. passport control area. That's the fire hydrant. The airport is fully equipped with fire equipment in yeah. case there's fire outbreak. Okay. If you look up, you see that we have sprinklers all over the terminal. You have what? Sprinklers. Okay. These are sprinklers. In case there's any fire outbreak, you just go to the panel, bust the panel, and it comes, water comes out. You Not here. here. The fireman will go bust it, and all this, this all water, the this will, wow. will discharge. That's really nice. Mm. So if you go around, you see that we have sprinklers everywhere. 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 I, I did not How many see. can you see now? I you can, can see. You can. You can see. One, two, three, four. It's, mm -hmm. it's so many. And then you can see cameras everywhere. everywhere I told you we too. have over 540 cameras. And We're still fixing some. As soon as I can't count. You can count. So you can see cameras too, positioned everywhere. So each and every movement a passenger does in the terminal is well monitored. This is a highly restricted area. Only passenger cross this area. If you come with your family, they end here, they stop at here. At least your family will be allowed they can to see you the airport. Sometimes, not all the time. Not all the time. Not all the time. Okay, but we so, are allowed to pass. Why not? You're my guest today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm taking you on a tour. Okay. Here, this yeah. is where we have the currency. This is the custom currency area. Where you declare, where you declare your currency. Good morning. morning. Good morning. Here, we have our guest here. Adachi, Adachi. Okay. Yes. yes. So there's a passport control area okay. where you de declare your currency. Okay. So how much cash am I allowed to travel? Actually, it's from ten thousand and above. From ten thousand and above, you declare. Yeah, you just declare your money, cite it, go. Set them go. Nothing. Nothing. So I can I, I can if take fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. From fifty thousand, <laughs> you have like a yeah. Company documents. Okay. Maybe if you got it from the bank, mm. maybe you have your bank transaction. Okay. If you got it from Peru Detent, maybe you have something to okay. support it. At the oh, bank. okay. That's for 50,000 upwards. Oh. Okay, but anything less than 10,000, yeah. you're free to just, just declare and go. Any, I mean, anything less than 10,000 down. down. Yes. You don't need to declare. You don't need it. You just... 9,000, you don't need it. Okay. 8, you don't need it. You don't need 5, you don't need it. Okay. And that's dollars or pounds or any foreign Venice currency. Venice. Okay. Do so you have a form they feel when they need that's to? It. That's, that's the form with him. Okay. That's why I'm holding it. Okay. So, so currency declaration it? form. Can I sure. take it? Sure. Can I take this? Why not? Okay. Thank you. What is your name? My name is uh, Sada. Huh? You guys are doing great job Thank you. in safeguarding our nation. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. 
So we'll proceed now to the passport control. This is where we have both immigration and DSS. What do they do at the airport? They do intelligent work. Okay. Profiling? Profiling passengers. They profile together with the, the immigration officer. So you they see, work you, together? They work together. In every counter, you see that we have both an immigration officer and a DSS officer. Good morning. Good morning. I learned that you work together with the DSS. Yes. So what do they do with you guys? They check the passports. And they hand over to immigration. We scan and we check the documents. If everything is true, then we endorse and allow them to go. Talk to her okay. about the MIDAS. Let her know about the MIDAS. Yeah, about your new technology. Okay, the MIDAS, this is a more improved technology we use now in the airport. It has more facility to scan the passports and check whether somebody is the stop list or if he has any bad record, it will alert, it will freeze. Okay, what you're saying now is that you have the immigration yes. department. They have a new technology yes. that's being used yes. to do the extra scanning. Yes. Yes. It's called MIDAS. It's called, yeah, Midas. And it's called MIDAS. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you scan somebody, if the person is on the red watch alert, list, watch or red alert, it will indicate all over the world. Mm -hmm. That's the new system. Yeah. Do they have this at Lagos Airport? Everywhere yes. in Nigeria. Everywhere in Nigeria. Yes, yes. everywhere in Nigeria. Yes. That's an improvement. Thank you. Ah, congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. We're getting there. This is a new airport. Yes. Tell me how you're enjoying the facilities here. Yeah, very wonderful. You can see the environment is very friendly. At least the AC, before when we are walking, we'll be sweating, but the AC <laughs> as we are walking, everybody's cool. So we feel more happy. Yeah. And everywhere is very calm. Everybody is at its own duty post, working effectively. Okay. This new technology makes our work easier as a supervisor. You can be in your own wing and you see what everybody is doing. If you are not doing the right time as a supervisor with your own wing, you can be seeing everything. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, DC Koha. So well, I might be needing to talk with you again. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Madam, yes. let's proceed this way. This way. This way. No, this way because of the camera. So, around this space, we have, if you can see, one, two, about eight counters. Whatever you see at this island is the same thing we have at the other island. Okay. So is it that a passenger comes in through here? Oh, come, so we can come proceed. Yes. Yeah, so we can facilitate okay, depending you. Depending on the airline. This way. Offline. This way, ma'am. Depending on the airline. Depending on the airline. Checked. This is the final screening area. From here, you're not going to be screened again. And all this, they all work. These are all machines that are working. working screening machines that are screening scanners that are working. And depend on the flow of the passenger. Yes. Sorry. Please. After this area, I'm taking you to drugs now. When you cross here, you're not screened here for drugs. Okay. This is where you're screened for drugs. Truly, there's been an incredible features and upgrade at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport. The airport comes with a massive history, incredible operation, and an amazing plans for the future. We love Abuja! restaurants as well. Don't close early. And and some bars. Some bars. <laughs> to have some... <laughs> 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 they are pastor's children. Passengers with disease from helping somebody to collect things, especially students who are traveling abroad because drugs may be concealed in those luggages. The airport was wonderful. Everything was seamless, very welcoming. The new infrastructure that was built is very accommodating and it's a good reflection of the country, right? So you want to be able to have probably more stores, you know. Like, what were you expecting? Less check-ins. Less? <laughs> oh, you didn't know you were going to see plenty of people, right? Oh, you thought you were just going to come and walk in your back. Ah. No, look at it, look at it. Okay. They are neat. They are nice too. They they know how to organize themselves. We have about four lounges here. You will see your aircraft arriving. You will see it dock. We made the airport in such a way that you can catch a view of the air side. It's following a line. That line is called the leading line. You can see the tire of the aircraft is packed at Boeing 737. Do you know I never really paid attention? <laughs> Still touring the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport. I've come to the section called Visa on Arrival. 